I've uh, got a few errands to run. It's about 9.30 in the morning. Just had breakfast. Uh, I'd like to find a umbrella and a pillow. And then I need to exchange some money. Uh, I want to get rid of my American dollars. Change them into bot. Discovery, there's an ATM right over there with a Visa sign on it. That's where I bought the uh, electrolyte stuff in that drugstore. The uh, Smith residence is just two blocks up that way. So anyway, today is clothing day. A lot of ladies clothing. So what I want to do is I want to go to 7-Eleven over here, see if I can get some mosquito repellent, and I want to look in here and see if I can find an umbrella or and or a pillow for the chair when I'm uh, working on a computer. Go in here and see if I can find an umbrella or a pillow. A lot of stuff. I don't know, I've been along here and I didn't see an umbrella the other day. Ooh, look at the tiger. Kind of nice. Clothing. This is where I bought the towels the other day. Hand towel. 45 baht. Well, I didn't see any umbrellas or pillows, so that's a bust. Very busy in here. Um, that's all food, textile. See what's down here. Better go this way anyway. Shoes. Close. Mm. 
Smells like vegetables. Oh, look at these carrots. Okay, well, no umbrellas and no pillows. Okay, I'll go up and exchange some money. Eggs. Okay. Rice. I go up here and get a mango smoothie from the girls and walk over and exchange some uh, dollars to bot. Oh, they're making progress here. Oh. Pretty good. I got some uh, paper towels and toilet paper at 7-Eleven and some mosquito repellent. And uh, the guy behind the cashier, when he rung up the paper towels, noticed they were two for one, so he went and got another one for me. I think the uh, paper towels were 50 baht or 55. And the toilet paper was 50 or 55. And the mosquito repellent, it's a little bottle of lotion, was uh, uh, about 50 baht. I'm holding up traffic. The place. Hi. I remember you. Oh, good. What are you doing today? I'm good. Uh, a. So there's two money exchange places, one up on the corner and one right here. The one on the corner isn't open yet. I think this one, when I was here a week ago, 10 days ago, whatever it was, was 31.85 for hundreds and fifties. And uh, now it's 31.55. So the bot is strengthening and I'm getting rid of my uh, dollars and changing them into bot because it's just gonna maybe keep going and I'll keep losing more money. I'm not 
not sure what that says, but these are for rent. Zoom zoom. I may have to end up getting a scooter or something to get around. Nice bike. Thirty speed was twenty eight. 1,900 reduced to 24,000. A lot of bikes. There's a 10 speed, 34,000. I'm wearing my backpack because I didn't want to leave the computer in the hotel room because I think today is the day I get cleaned, get the room cleaned. But it makes it a little bit hotter, so I'm sweating, even with a mango, what they call the shake. Uh, they usually call them slushies here, or uh, excuse me, smoothies here. And uh, in the USA, we would call it a slushie, I think. It's ice and mango and uh, maybe a little milk, canned milk. I got sweat dripping off my nose. Hello. A lot of massage parlors and places to rent motorbikes and places to get tours like here. Uh, Overseas call, landline, 7 baht per minute, mobile, 25 baht per minute. I'm using my Magic Jack Plus uh, for free calls back to the US. I ported changed over my home phone number to Magic Jack. Uh, I think the Magic Jack Plus is $20 a year and then another $10 a year for having uh, your own phone number. But that means that people can still call my Santa Clara number uh, and usually I don't have the handset plugged in so I get an email message within a few minutes with the audio file of the voicemail that people leave. And as long as I have access to the internet and I'm looking at my computer, I can uh, then plug in the Magic Jack stuff, handset, and call them back. So people can call me by just calling the Santa Clara number, whatever that costs them, and uh, I get unlimited around the US and Canada free or for the monthly rate. Uh, excuse me, for the yearly rate. Yearly rate. $20 plus 10, I think, but it is $30 a year for Magic Jack. Seems to work. I've made three calls so far. Uh, working good. You uh, buy the unit, register it in the US before you come over here and then you can use it to make calls back. Bicycle rental. No umbrellas. This looks like a hardware store.
I returned to 7-Eleven earlier today because I wanted to double check the uh, price on the water and the toothpaste. Uh, the water is 43 baht, that's 5 liters, and the toothpaste was only 50 baht. So this 180 here is probably the size. Anyway, 50 baht, 43 baht, and then I got uh, some paper towels, and they were two for one, and some toilet paper, and some mosquito repellent lotion. Uh, the lotion was 55 baht. Uh, one of these was 55 and the other one was 50, I forget which. And um, I didn't realize that these were two for one. The uh, young man at the cash register pointed that out and went and got another package for me. And then they give me these stamps. This is the first time I've gotten stamps from 7-Eleven. They evidently have a, um, a saving stamp program going. And I assume when you have accumulated this many stamps, you get these items. You can uh, choose from one of those items, kind of like our old green stamps when I was younger. Um, but looks like you got to accumulate a lot of stamps because it's on both sides. So anyway, just wanted to update that. Um, tried to find an umbrella and a pillow and struck out on that. So that can be a task for another day. I was just taking a closer look at the stamp program that 7-Eleven has and one of the items that you can redeem the stamps for is an umbrella. So uh, maybe they sell umbrellas there somewhere. I'll ask the next time I go by there. Uh, it didn't rain last night but the two previous nights it came down in buckets and if you get caught in that it's you're going to get really wet so when it looks unsettled I'd like to be able to carry an umbrella with me.